Hi guys. Purple, yellow, and red. All right, guys. This was probably not the best idea I had. Now, look at the floor. It's covered in snow. To clean this up. What's up guys? I'm Henry and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I do very well because I have something very very exciting to tell actually. I've released a new song. If you follow me on my social media, you might have recognized that I've released a new song. It's called In My Feelings. It's featuring a gorgeous singer called Gia Koka. She's from the Netherlands and I really, really enjoyed working with her. I'm very, very excited to tell that today's video is all about combining two of my passions. One passion is, of course, the music. On the other hand, my other passion is all the crafting stuff, embroidering and DIYs that I share with you guys mainly on this YouTube channel. Alright guys, so for today's video I decided to go for a bucket hat. So I'm going to try out to embroider on a bucket hat. You guys told me actually I should try out different things than only like t-shirts and embroidering on hoodies. I've tried Converse as you might know, but today is the day I'm going to try out a bucket hat. I've asked you guys about the design, the embroidery design on my social media on Instagram and I got so many replies. So thank you for this actually and, and since I already knew that I wanted to combine this video with my song release which is in my feelings I already had like a specific type of answer reply in my mind and I found the perfect fitting answer that one person asked me to do green vintage aesthetic and since the song reminds me of an 80s vibish song and since I already like the color green and I'm like all into green right now I thought like this is the perfect fitting idea since the song is all about breakups and and being in love, I decided to go for a design like a heart and a broken heart as patches on the bucket head. And since I also wanted to have like a straight connection to the song, I added the title. But I didn't like the title how it sounds on the bucket head. So I switched it up and you might know that TikTok sound which is Shut up everybody, I'm in my fields. So I really got inspired by this and switched the slogan actually into in my fields. And without further ado, let's jump right into the DIY. Alright, regarding the materials, we're going to need, of course, obviously our design printed out, an embroidery hoop, which is very important, embroidery floss, since I decided to do on the green aesthetics, I have three different types of shades of green, then our embroidery needles. What else you're going to need is some scissors. And since we are not embroidering directly onto the bucket head material, we are going to need some kind of sort of base material, which is some simple cotton fabric um, I'm using. I'm going to tag everything what I'm using of the materials in the description below so you can guys check it out. And to turn this actually into patches we're going to need some heat and bond to turn the embroidery into patches and stick them or iron them on the bucket head in the end. All right, before we start with the actual embroidery process, we're going to set up our embroidery hoop and embroidery material actually. So what we are going to do first is attaching the hoop to our fabric. Um, I'm using a plastic hoop actually, and uh, it's working very, very simple. You use the plastic inner circle underneath your cloth and put the outer circle on top and press them together. There are other hoops as well, like wooden hoops, it doesn't matter and it's very very important that you stretch the fabric it needs to be very very tight so we are going to attach the embroidery hoop and afterwards we are going to draw our design on it since the heart shape and the broken heart shapes are very very easy to draw i thought like i'm going to cut out the design like very very detailed and draw the outline of the hearts onto my cloth and I also repeat that process on the broken heart. In terms of the font, I decided to give my font some outline in order to work with more colors in the font as well. So I cut out the outline of my font first and transferred the outline, of course, to my cloth. And afterwards, I cut out each single letter in order to transfer each 
single letter to my cloth. All right, next we are going to set up our needle and our embroidery floss. As you might know, embroidery floss is very, very thick. It is six stranded and we are going to use a three stranded embroidery floss. That means that we separate our floss before we're going to start the embroidery process. What I usually do, I cut about 30 centimeters of my thread. Then I separate the thread into two pieces, having three strands. Then I'm going to loop the three strands into my needle and tie a double knot on the other end of my thread. And this is all you're going to need to set up. Since I'm going to start with the heart, I wanted to have the heart outline in a darker shade. So we are going to start from the inside, poking to the outside and working with a split stitch on straight lines and with the back stitch on round and edges. So if you're not familiar with the back stitch or with the split stitch, I have some beginner embroidery tutorials on my YouTube channel as well. So you might want to check this out first. Continue our heart embroidery process. As you might see, I'm starting with the outer outline and every second row, I change the colors until I reach the center. When I've reached the center, I left the heart a little bit bigger so it's still recognizable. As for the broken heart, I did actually the same. So I outlined with the dark shade green, even the scar of the broken heart as well. And then I decided to leave out the dark shade of the green and only fill it out with the other two shades of greens. In terms of the font, I st also started with the dark shade green for the outer outline of my font, working with the split stitch with the back stitch again. Afterwards, I decided to work with a satin stitch on the font letter itself. You start also poking from the inside to the outside and then you go horizontally of your letter to the other side and poke down again. To actually avoid wasting too much yarn, I also poke up again on the same exact side where I just poke in. So I worked all the letters with the satin stitch and the lightest bright green. Afterwards, I decided to outline the letters actually with the middle shade green. So for the space between the inner outline of the font and the outer outline of the font, I decided to do or to introduce a new green shade color which is a little bit brighter than the mid shade green that I've used for the outline of the letter and for this I also used the split stitch and the back stitch to fill out the space between those two outlines. As for the last word the fields I actually run out of that specific type of green shade that I've used in the other words so I decided to introduce a new color which was the pink color and I have like the feeling it fits pretty well so I decided to go with the split switch again and um, outlining the each letter of the fields with the pink shade so each time your thread is done or you want to change the color or it gets like very tight or you're actually done with the uh, whole embroidery and you want to secure it and finish it up you always do a double knot on the back side to secure it and when you are done with all the embroidery we are at the step where we want to turn our embroidery into a patch for this step we are going to need our heat and bond actually the heat and bond is a texture that works with the iron so it's kind of a gluing texture that you can use to transfer your embroidery into patches when we have removed our embroidery hoop we're going to face or we're going to turn our embroidery upside down that the inside is facing the outside and then we are going to cut a piece of heat and bond that it has exactly the same size of our embroidery. And then we are going to apply the heat and bond to the back side of our embroidery and start ironing. This will take you some trials actually because you iron for about three seconds and then you leave it. Wait until it's cold, you try out if it's sticking already to the embroidery. If not, you repeat the process. As soon as it's sticking to the embroidery, you are actually done. After this process, you leave it until it's cold and then you can actually cut it out. and. With this process you have to make sure that you do not cut into the embroidery you just cut a close outline turning them into patches now we are at the point where i didn't continue filming if you're at this point your patches should look something like that so this is your embroidery on the other on the back side is your heat and bond with the paper still on so what we are going to do next is actually we are going to put these patches onto our back hat by ironing and we are going to do this together and i'm very, very excited how it turns out and if it looks cool or not so let's see how this is going to work. So we have our bucket head here and I thought like I'm going to place the slogan on top of the bucket head and since I've also embroidered two other hearts, so I have four hearts in the end, I thought like since there are four sides of this bucket head, I'm going to add each heart on one of the sides of the bucket head. I think I'm going to start with the top and while we are going to apply the patches to the bucket head, 
I wanted to talk about the song actually, what's the story behind the song and what the song actually means to me. In 2020, it was a very very special year for me, I guess, because not only I found my passion of doing embroidery, crafting, DIYs and crocheting and stuff like that, building things that I can share with you guys, and not only that, I also kind of found myself before that, like before 2020, I always was like feeling like, okay, um, I want to do a specific type of things, but I do not have the guts of showing them or expressing them. And I definitely have some sort of development in 2020. And since I like these kind of things of crocheting, I openly communicate these kind of of my social media set a sign in specifically toxic masculinity showing other people or helping other people to to follow their true passions in crafting in crocheting and stuff like that and that's why i thought like this song since it's a song describing a breakup of a love story but on my kind of side it's more like a breakup with the old me welcoming the new me and that's like the story behind the song actually where's the back side okay this is like the front side so here's the label so i'm going to put the fields in front of here yay and now we are going to add the little hearts I have absolutely no clue how to wear a bucket hat. It looks so weird. If I pull it too deep, I look like a granny, like going on a fishing trip. But if I pull it up too high, like I look like a weirdo. And I have like the feeling this bucket hat is a little bit too small for my for my hat. I have like a bit fat ass hat. All right guys, so this is the bucket hat, the final result. I feel like it looks super dope. Like look at the slogan on top, then we have the hearts on the side. Now comes the fun part of the whole video actually. I decided to give away this hat for free to my community here on YouTube. If you dig this hat and you do not want to do this yourself, you can actually win it. And all you have to do for this is be a subscriber, of my channel, listen to my song and my feelings, support me on my song by like add it to your playlist on Spotify, even buy it on iTunes if you want to, and comment down below why you want to have this hat. And I'm gonna pick a winner soon. I'm gonna let you know in the description below when to pick the winner. To be sure that it's fitting you, this is a size 57 centimeters. 57 size 57 so if this is fitting you you can participate on this <laughs> giveaway if not you can still win this hat and do whatever you want to do with this hat thank you guys for watching i hope you guys find this kind of helpful in your ways of uh, customizing your bucket hat or customizing something else if you like this video feel free to give it some thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet then subscribe now for more videos in the future i will be very very happy if you haven't checked me out on my social media yet then feel free to check out the links shared on the screen i can't wait actually to be back in the next video with some more diys and yeah i see you guys soon i love you and i'm out ciao